the really good sections of the science fiction special effects arose in a strange kind of way. We had finished shooting, everything was on schedule, but we were falling behind in the special effects. And Gail Hurd, who was my eighth assistant working out of our office here, uh, I asked Gail to go down to our studio and stay a couple of days and find out why the special effects department was falling behind. And she came back after two days and she said, here's the reason. The man you hired to head the special effects did what many people will do when they're looking for a job. He somewhat exaggerated his experience in special effects and he really isn't that experienced. But there's a young kid there who hitchhiked in from Arizona it's his first job in Hollywood, and he's really good. It's Jim Cameron. What you should do, you should promote Jim. So I went down to the studio, talked to Jim for a while, and I think this is the only time on any picture where I gave somebody a raise in the middle of the picture. I said, Jim, I'm bumping you up on raise, and you're going to take care of the special effects. And the special effects Jim did on that film were really brilliant.